Okay, today is Monday the 1st of March and we are looking at can I write an imaginative diary entry? So what we're doing is we're just putting together all of the things which we came up with last week um, to come up with this diary entry. And the reason I've written imaginative is because obviously it's not a real diary entry. It's just imagining that these things happen to you on, on one day. So just to warm us up really quick, um, can you find all the adjectives in these sentences? So the adjectives are describing words, um, just pause the video and see if you can find all the adjectives in those sentences. Okay, so there's not a huge amount of adjectives in these. Um, so adjectives are words which tell you, they're describing words that tell you more about a noun. So if I just put them in red, they're the ones there you should have found. So we've got crowded train station, tells you more about the train station. And tell me more about the raincoat. Well, it's long in yellow. Um, the rain is torrential. Tells me more about the rain, and then tell you more about the wellies. Is shiny and new describes the wellies. Uh, the night is described as dark and gloomy. Tiny describes the house. Forlorn also describes the house, and dappled describes the moonlight. Um, torrential. Just go back to the torrential rain. Torrential means like really, really heavy, like a torrent, a really heavy downpour. Um, forlorn means like sort of abandoned and lonely and sad, and then dappled means like where. Um, it's not just solid color, like often um, if, you're, if you're walking through the woods and there's like sunlight coming down, but there's like le leaf shadows in between. So it's like bits of shadow, and bits of light all mixed up. That's dappled. Um, just if you didn't know what those words meant, but there are all the adjectives you should have got. Okay. So these are the six sections of our imaginative diary entry. Uh, these are the ones we've been through last week, and this is what's going to happen in your diary. So we've got, first you see a strange shop, uh, then you go into the shop and you see all the weird items. You choose an item, you pay for it, you leave, you discover it's got magical powers. And there's a quick bit about what you do with those magical powers. Then something goes wrong and finally you get rid of the magical item. Um, so most of these bits um, you, you've kind of written anyway. Um, so you've written going into the shop and seeing all the items. You've written about the magical powers and something going wrong, getting rid of it. So most of the things you've already done. So don't forget to look back through your book and use loads and loads of that stuff you've already written. Um, it's quite long, I suppose, what we're writing today, but um, you know that, that's because it is, you've already written quite a lot of it. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna do what I've put for each of these six sections. Again, you can copy what you like, use my ideas as, a, as inspiration, um, but this is what I've done. So firstly, see a strange shop. So I've started with Dear Diary. And I've made this bit really, really simple just to get into the story. So today was a weird day. I was on my way to the park to meet Sam when I saw a strange shop. Simple as that. Um, so that's my first bit. The next bit, um, I've got going into the shop. So what I've done is I've used um, that list on, on Monday. I've used that kind of list of things that I found in the shop and where I found them. I didn't use all of them. I just used a few of them just to show. So I've put this bit. So I've put... Well, you know me, always curious. So I went in and there was all sorts of bizarre objects everywhere. I saw a shriveled monkey's paw underneath a pile of old books, a silver ring in the shape of a snake covered in a thick layer of cobwebs, and even what looked like a hippo's tusk tucked inside a large crack in the wall. So I've just chosen three things there from my work on Monday. Just put it into sentences like that. So that's my, that's my bit there. Uh, next, I'm going to choose an item. So we haven't, really, we haven't really sort of written this bit or thought about it. Um, so this is the one we haven't really done, um, but I've put this. Anyway, I couldn't leave without buying something. It all looks so cool. Eventually, I decided on a wizard's hat, black and covered in purple stars. There was no one there to pay, so I left a five-pound note on the counter and went outside. I thought I'd try it on, but as soon as it touched my head, I could feel a strange power building in my muscles. I felt stronger than a hundred men. So I've done that quite simple, just bought it. I left a note on the counter because there was no one there. Um, and then you don't even need to put that. You can just put, I bought it and left if you wanted to make it quicker. Um, and I've just put, you know, I felt strong on 100 men. So I've, I've introduced the fact that it's um, going to give me superhuman strength. Okay, so the next bit you've already written. So this bit is what you do with those magical powers. So I pretty much uh, uh, kept this the same as the work you did on Tuesday. I pretty much kept it the same. Um, you can change yours, of course. Um, I've kept mine the same to show that you can, but of course you're welcome to make yours shorter than Tuesday, add in little different bits, change it around. 
do whatever you like, because often it's, it's not very exciting rewriting exactly the same thing. So use some ideas from Tuesday, but you, could, you can use as much as you like. So I've written, I had superhuman strength because I wanted to know just how strong I was. I tried to lift up a car and guess what? I could just lift it right up. Just then I leaned against a wall to think and the whole thing crumbled to dust, even though I barely touched it. A few minutes later, I cracked my phone screen, just pressing it gently, and despite being really careful drinking a can of Coke, I crushed it and sprayed it all over myself. I was feeling pretty annoyed until I saw someone I could help. A tree had just fallen across the road, blocking all the traffic. Quick as a flash, I went over and simply chucked it out of the way. Everyone cheered. And if you notice, I've used lots of exclamation marks, question marks, things like that, because it is a diary entry, so that's the sort of thing you would expect to, to see. Next, I've got something goes wrong. And again, I've kept this exactly the same as the work we did on Wednesday. Um, so fronted adverbial, rest of a sentence. So I've kept this exactly the same because you don't have to keep it exactly the same. Again, it gets a bit boring if you keep it exactly the same. Change it around a little bit if you like. Take some bits out. Completely up to you. Suddenly, I've had a strange feeling wash over me. A few seconds later, I could feel my strength fading. Unfortunately, I kept getting weaker and weaker. Feeling scared, I realized I couldn't even pick up a stone. With shaking hands, I looked desperately around for help. All of a sudden, I knew I had to get rid of the hat. And then again, getting rid of it, I've used exactly the same ideas I've used um, on Thursday. So I've used exactly the same ideas. I've, I've, I've taken some out, actually. I've, I've kept it, made it a bit shorter. Uh, so I've put, looking around desperately, I saw a steamroller moving slowly down the street. Running towards a dirty great machine, I took off the cursed hat and threw it under the shiny silver roller as it rumbled along. As it was crushed underneath the immense weight of the machine, a ferocious wind began to blow and a crowd of dark, ominous clouds appeared on the horizon. At the same time, the orange streetlights began to flash on and off like crazy. Suddenly, there was a huge deafening explosion, a blinding flash. Then everything was back to normal. When I met Sam at the park, I didn't say anything because I knew he'd never believe me. And at the end, I've just put sleep, diary, sleep. It's just my I sign off bit. Um, so again, I've kept that very similar to the work I did on Thursday. So you might think, if you put it all together, that is quite a long diary entry. Um, so it is quite long, um, but there's a couple of things. Firstly, obviously, a lot of the time you're using stuff you've already written, so it should be fairly quick to put together. But also, if you don't get to the end, don't worry. Um, it's, it's not a massive problem if you don't get to the end. It's more about you know all the work you did last week, um, all that practice on fronted adverbials and expanded noun phrases and things. That's the real work here. So, you know, if you don't finish the whole thing, it's not the end of the world. Don't, don't sit there for hours because it is quite long. But equally, if you want to finish it off next week or do little bits here and there to finish off, that's absolutely fine. Uh, and you may find that actually you get the whole thing done quite quickly because, again, you, you've written quite a lot of it before. So uh, feel free to go back through this video, pause it wherever you like, use some of my ideas, remember your ideas in your own book. And, yeah, I look forward to seeing some of your diary entries.